Hi guys, it's another Pulse video. Just figured something out here. Um, it's the same design as before, only this is a constant Pulse version. It will just continuously pulse. The four outputs here, 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 and here, and then the main array is built inside there. This is the uh, core of the ship with a couple of shields. And, uh, I don't need the shields there anymore, actually. Uh, anyway, this is the ship, and as you can see way back there, it's I'm towing three turrets. So this is like getting around the fact that you can't carry any guns. So, yeah. Hit it a couple times, and get us going. See, at the moment seems to be running okay. It's just going slow off the first pulse, but it'll build up. <laughs> the only problem with this, of course, is that uh, if you switch the wrong way, then you have to switch to break. <laughs> so, uh, you've got to putt around. It moves at a fair pace. Let's see the pulse. Okay, so we're just going to have a look at the back here. So we've got three turrets and a small reactor with a bunch of shields mixed in. I've had to reduce weight, that's why <laughs> it doesn't have much. If you have, if you build armor on here or anything, it uh, slows it down a lot. It doesn't seem to matter how much weight you put on the turret, um, which is, but it's the framework. Um, the only reason I've got a bit of energy up there is so it's shielded, so you can't just blow off the turrets with, like, you know, a random pirate can just blow that off. So. But yeah, it works. So I just wanted to see if you could pull. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to see if you could pull with a pulse. And you can, you can pull with a pulse. But the problem is weight. So you have to have a very lightweight uh, ship being pulled. And you can't really build much up front. I thought to build some kind of sailing ship. Uh, ride the pulse and pull the capsule behind. Um, and I guess this this is that, because I've got a camera on the back. So if I go back here, I've got a camera at the back there. Which is a bit like riding it. There we go. I found that if I put something here, hmm, hmm, something unexpected has happened. So, what's happened here is I put something there to see if it would uh, actually break the trailing effect here, and it made it better. Hmm, not really sure why, but that's clearly much better than it was a minute ago. Off it goes. So something's, something's going on here. We're going to have to investigate it further because it's almost as if you could make an engine without... Yeah, because you could build... Well, trouble is mass. You can't really build much around it, but... At the moment, this is continuously pulling, and it's pulling a bunch of turrets at the moment. But you could have it pull uh, a bunch of fighters. That would actually be way better. So I'm going to further develop this idea, because this isn't a bad idea. You could use it to deploy, just point it where it needs to go, send them in, drop it off, turn around, fly back. Should be easy. 
as long as you don't switch into the uh, <laughs> into the drone and turn the AI off. <laughs> You're gonna be flying all the way up there. But um, yeah, it's, uh, I, did, I expected this to sort of catch the bubble and push it the wrong way, and it it doesn't. It actually has increased the performance quite significantly. So I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can find out how much buy. speed before and I've got a mass of 6.6 .6. and before to get that kind of acceleration I had to have a mass of 1.6 so this little little cross is doing something I have to do some more experiments see you next time